This conference will now be recorded. The time being 4.46 p.m., I'd like to call the meeting of December 22nd, 2022 to order. First order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our first order of business before we get to the truly important stuff is <laughs> the uh, uh, taking a look at and selecting a bid for the town hall boiler replacement. Uh, Selectman Scanlon? Yes, so it's been a busy week and a meeting every night, and I also met with contractors here from um, Energy Unlimited and Canman HVAC LLC. I've got some information which she compiled for me very nicely. So take one, pass it down. Oh, I take one. I'm having trouble hearing you around these two here, yeah, John. Could you tell me? Sure. The yeah, uh, the cotton cookies. <laughs> it's all this afternoon. Eat my way through them. Uh, so we've got that. We've got and then this would be the next one. So I printed these up, so I don't know if I can get enough. This is just looks like that's a little couple yeah. short. Yeah. This is just an yeah. overview of some of them. That's this yeah, is the second one to so separate this in that so then, so in a separate file. One pagers. Right? So yeah. That last one is going to be the pile. Uh, okay. It comes from the can, right? Um, oh, okay, I see. So this would be. Uh, Okay, I see. Let's stay for that business. Okay. We're one short on that one. Thank you. And I have a copy. So that goes with this. Yeah. This one goes with this. This one goes with NAD. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is. No, this one goes, this one the top one goes. Came in, because it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and this one goes with this. Should be. Bottom one goes there. Okay. Should we send over here? Um, Cameron was, had an additional bid for the differences of the other two borders. Uh, everything that I got from him is what's there. Oh, I'm sending over today. On medicine to scale. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, we, I don't have it. Yeah. He sent it to, he was, you know, having it. So, everybody is, has the same thing that they're bidding on. Mm -hmm. um, he also put one in for the two boiler, but I believe it went to Gail, who's out today. So, it might have gotten hung up. So, uh, that one here with two boilers. That's the energy unlimited. He was saying that the can man had also uh, uh, with two boilers. Yeah, because I only met him uh, last night. So, um, so he, I guess he was going to send it in. He said it'll be around one a thousand to. $1,200 additional if we want to switch it out. Um, so I think they're pretty much, when we go to pricing, it's uh, pretty equal. So, Have you done any any research into any of these various models, John? Well, um, I, can, voting I can tell you that they're both great. Yeah, you can okay. tell me that, but <laughs> yeah. based on... Based on uh, yeah, um, you know, Bosch, they've make a great system they they make um you know they make good quality stuff uh will mclean does too um i think bosch has been around are, are you here from 
And you don't want to do that. He's a new right. resident so, looking to eat cookies. You know anything about boilers? <laughs> uh, hey, we'll, we'll broke you in later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so uh, basically, they're the same. Will McLean's been around since the 1800s um, and doing that. Bosch, um, they've been around like 40 years. Pretty much they have the same capabilities here. Um, the difference is after talking with them, you could go with the one boiler or you could go with two boilers. The two boilers would have two at, I believe it was 150,000 BTUs, right around that, one's 151. But the concept is, is that uh, with the two, one would run when it's less demand and then the other one would kick on too. Um, after checking into it, it's the system, if one fails, it doesn't mean that the other one will keep going because you would have to have two at 300,000 BTUs to make it a redundant system that would um, cover for um, if one failed. Because they're hooked in together. They're hooked in together. Yeah. So if you have two, we need 300,000 BTU. That's what I was explaining. That's what we have. So that's so, the energy efficiency thing versus uh, redundancy, high availability feature. Yeah. So now with the one boiler, um, the difference is, is that it, it adjusts the input and the flow. So one boiler will go, it says, okay, it's only needing X amount of heat. So I'm only going to put the burner on at 90,000 or 80,000 BTUs, or and now it's getting a little, I, it needs more heat. I guess it senses the return temperatures and outside. Um, Is that the one that has the uh, six zone controller, John? There, that's one that has six. Um, I believe he, he said seven, that he have seven, Change it to seven. Um, well, I saw one with one of them says six, and it might, but only one of them. So there you go. So um, the next part of it, if there's any other questions that I might be able to answer, I do have a very important question. I sure. think, what about the venting of this thing? Okay. Does that lead to chimney replacements or anything like that? Okay, so the way it vents, um, because they're so efficient, they now vent through PVC pipe. It's that cold. Uh, they're so efficient that you don't have all the heat going up the chimney. So uh, what it would be is if we had the um, two system, we'd have to have four pipes going out or with the two system on the wheel mclean we could have two hub pipes which would contain um, one input and one output it's like one uh you've ever seen one in one out the main yeah input. and it's all <laughs> built into a hub so these are the, just horizontal exhausts they don't need to ride the yep. amount of up yeah yeah they can go right out um and then the condens because it's uh, so efficient it also has a good amount of condensation that collects in it which goes back and collects into a pump which neutralizes it and sends it out to our drain both contractors include all that um, i talked to energy unlimited uh originally he had intended to put the pipes out on the sidewalk, but the problem with that is the dripping. And he said that the um, we'd have to supply some type of catch uh, area for it. And you'd have like a four foot pipe for the out and a two for the in, or it might be the other way around, I forget, on the sidewalk side. Um, I did point out to him about the other side and show him the alley. And he said, oh, okay, we, can, we could put it out in the alley. We wouldn't have to worry about discharge of water on the sidewalk, um, which is a code issue. Uh, discharging uh, water into that alley might be an issue for the guys that own the alley. 
So it would. How it, much water are we talking about? Some, uh, some dripping. Um, however, out there where the drain pipe comes down, there's a gravel catch basin and a drain that connects up to our storm drain. Okay. So that solves all that. Yeah. So either yeah. way, they're okay. going to have to go up through the floor um, and then out through at the bottom of the staircase and go out. Presently, we have our roof drain pipe that's in that hall there. So mm -hmm. it'll be next to them so that all that could be boxed off neatly or left exposed as the uh, roof drain is now. Um, so that takes care of that. Um, so if you go with the two, you're going to have four pipes coming out. Walking past your chair. I have a couple questions. One is uh, I noticed on the brochure for the Bosch that it clearly states that it's commercial. Um, do you have an opinion one way or another, commercial versus um, well, actually, residential? I'm sorry, Bosch is residential. I, I, I apologize. Residential. So uh, longevity you know, 20, 25, 30 years from now, is that gonna make a difference buying a residential unit in a, in a commercial setting, number one? And um, go ahead, I'll, I'll ask another question. And yeah, I, I noticed that, that the, the Will McLean is a commercial and the other one says it's residential for homes um, and condos and that. That's something that you folks would have to um, all think about when making your decision, perhaps. Uh, has, has there been any research into like serviceability um, and like part availability in manufacturing just in terms of like, how many technicians support the one brand versus the other is it me, you know, yeah. 100 miles away or another? So country? pretty much anybody services either of these brands. They're both very common and they're both top of the line stuff that's stock regularly. I asked about parts and all of them said that parts are available regularly or um, overnight could get shipped in. Um, they're, they're the common brands, so it's not an off brand. For both of them are, you know, that's one of the things I checked into. We want to make sure that we can uh, supply and then the, the one that has the, the two uh, boilers, mm -hmm. is that something where like, in the future you could upgrade to the 200 BTUs versus the 250s if you know, there was a decision you know, at a not, future point? Not necessarily. Uh, it would be same price over again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so the other thing, um, so, so I don't I know if that answers you. Question. So we probably would need to keep this to the table because oh, okay. we're really bogged down for time yeah. on this discussion. So, <laughs> and um, I apologize. What? The other, I have one more question, okay. and that is um, in the, the lower bid on the one unit on the McLean, um, the bid includes um, six zones. This includes um, Taking care of the heat um, problems that we have, or the disparity that we have downstairs in the in the hallways, uh, in the room, the corner rooms that we have right now. And then the, did you have a chance to talk with the other bidder on the zone and the different heat issues? On yes, that? And he updated his. Uh, information so it would be if he can easily fix it right there um, he would but um, if not he'll evaluate what it is and they can come back and um, fix that and it was at a rate of $120 an hour it was $120 an hour to uh, resolve the, the other issues so in this bit it's included in this bit it's not included no, okay, got it. not necessarily. Okay. It's not written in there, but he would see what he could do. Okay, got it. Um, he, the other thing is, is energy 
or the one, let's see, they gave us the New Hampshire saves where we could get um, $1,500 rebate on one, each burner. However, when I read through it, if you look at the top number one on it, if you read that, mm -hmm. that expires next week. It'll have to be installed by the end of the week. So that's, right. that's not going to. Now, perhaps they're going to uh, renew that, but either one we are eligible for. Whatever either we one. go with, we, we apply for that. Because um, the wheel McLean is 96.5 efficiency. Yeah. Right. And it's still an unknown on the rebate, though. That's it's an unknown. unknown. It's, yeah. yeah if, if Maybe a this. purchase order would be sufficient, perhaps. Oh, mm -hmm. for the rebate? Yeah. Oh, no, it has to be installed. It has to be installed. In yeah. the building, yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't know how any, any other questions that I might be able to answer. I think. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like, I'd like I would make... like to know if you have a, a uh, recommendation, John, based on your conversations and the research that you've done. One, because we're talking about uh, 1200 bucks yeah. here, and it sounds like more or less they're going to be both very good pieces of uh, equipment. Uh, is one of them worth an extra 1200 bucks? Well, I think the things that... I was considering is having the four holes in the side of the building, four orange holes. Um, so if we can get away from that and just go with the, you know, two holes. I I like one burner um, as opposed to two. I um, I don't think we're going to gain a lot by having the two. Twice as much to break. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I mean, everybody, these both um, contractors were very, um, you know, I have, I have faith in them. Um, I, I just, I know Wheel McLean's been around a long time. I like those. I haven't had any experience with the Bosch, but they're a well known and a good name. I'd like to make a motion to go with the bid from Canman HVAC for $27,000 for uh, replacement of the boiler in town hall. Second. Motion and a second for discussion. I think we've already discussed it. <laughs> Ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. So hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> so, um, so the select, selectmen decided they'd like to start a new tradition um, in an annual open house just before Christmas, a time when residents can stop by for some refreshments and meet casually with the selectmen. Um, we do have a little bit of an agenda. Um, the first is the selectmen's Christmas cookie contest. Um, each selectman or their wife has prepared a batch of cookies <laughs> that will be taste tested <laughs> and, and judged by our esteemed panel of judges. Um, those judges being Fred Caruso from 90 from Mix 94.1, um, Tilton Police Chief Abe Gilman, um, and Catherine McLaughlin, reporter from Oconia Daily Sun. Right now, I'm going to turn it over to our evening's MC, our town administrator, Jeannie Forrester, to lay out the logistics of the contest. Thank you, thank you judges, and thank you to our selectmen for agreeing to enter into this contest that I can see is already getting a little. <laughs> Each judge will find, um, um, actually, if you want to come up to the table, would you all like to come up to the table? Okay. So, we, um, we bought these straight little, they're all go ahead, and healthy. Go ahead, Elsie. Well, I've been buying these straight little, <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not a lot of Oh, all right. One Good. has a leak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it says it's milk. So you can actually eat eggnog. Milk and cookies. Cookies, eggnog. Milk and cookies. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to test one cookie at a time. So I'll leave it up to you to grab a napkin or a plate. And I would start at that end. Yes. Uh, just in the interest of you know disclosure, if any of you are allergic to nuts, uh, some of these cookies have. Okay. Of course, I'm not allergic to that. Are the cookies in front of no. the people who made them? No, no, not no. necessarily. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. all right. And random yeah. cookie. Random cookie. Uh, right. And uh, you're going to taste, you're going to judge uh, appearance and taste. Ooh. So. Oh, look, she's taking pictures. And how it goes with, <laughs> got it. I think you should go with how it goes with milk. But I don't, I don't, I don't think you want me to do that because I don't like milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> yeah. Just checking that data. Just make sure it's, yeah. <laughs> I may make moves. I may or may not work next to the store. I know you do. I don't know if I can eat the entire cookie. I don't, you don't, you don't have to. You just take one bite, that's it. Like a sip of if you're like a professional food judge, you take mm -hmm. one bite, and that's it. You have to smell it. I learned that from barbecue competition. Well, they haven't keeled over yet. Yeah, it takes a little while to get it digested. Don't worry, I don't want it to be done. I had a problem the other day. It's good. Oh, sweet yeah, little mint. I saved myself. Okay, so are you all all through with the first one? Mm -hmm. yes. Nobody's so. died. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's reassuring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, are these. Uh, well, I can't ask the question because it would then indicate who made the cookie. So, thank you. First thing I get skin no. with white powder okay. and blue uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I wore black. You need a bit. I, told I know. I was it's new. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get it by your nose. <laughs> yeah. Strong cookies. Mm. Mm. Hold on a sec. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. We're gonna, we're, we're that's a true Italian thing here. <laughs> Love it. So years, that's years <laughs> lost here. Yes, it is. <laughs> you need some sauce to go with that. Good? Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's figure out when we have a. Uh oh. Uh oh. Any? Uh, yep. Casualty? Casualty? Five second rule. <laughs> We have a piper down. All right, and Catherine, I'm going to ask you to reach there in the middle and grab those. Do I, that? I don't want to see no one. Thank you. Thank you. When do we get to try them? <laughs> well, how does it work? Where's, where's Walter? Oh, he's on. Nap time. You know, date. Someone made it. <laughs> yes, look at the plate. Someone tried to gain points. Oh. Let's see if it worked. <laughs> I was going to say, she Oh, no. Okay. Mm. Do not <laughs> drop one. It's colder. Do not eat the I was like, I better, you know. Look like a dog. <laughs> You know what? You clean your teeth at the same time. No, there's some dog cookies on that one. Oh, yeah, that's Christmas. Dog biscuit cookies. Right. They make your teeth whiter. Gourmet dog biscuit cookie maker here in the town. No, they left. Yeah. Good? All, All right. good. You got one more. 
What kind is the one way down at the end? Of that? that is a raspberry cheesecake. That's what I'm supposed to yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you trying these. Two. <laughs> Michaela, we're going to jump in. Problem is, I never met a cookie I didn't like. I know that was that's my problem. If they don't have Thank you. Wood, I'm just I'm just oh, ready right. to rush the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can I can smell the cookies. Yeah. 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 Well, there's one more contest after this. I didn't. Uh, uh, a cookie eating contest. Who can eat the most cookies? Oh, <laughs> gee. <laughs> I, said, I would lose it that one. I'm sorry. I might have a chance. <laughs> Presentation. Appearances. Presentation. Okay. Well, I heard a noise All right. So um, the three of you, now that you're done, you can confer with each other and see if you want to, if you want to go in the back of the room and talk, or if mm -hmm. you want to talk. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a couple uh, cookies with you. Or? Yeah, I'll take the plate. I'll grab a plate because I'm going to have my. Uh, I won't be able to explain. All right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, I think anyone right, else so would now like to come up and sample. Anybody? Anyone who would like to come sample, oh. please come sample. Come on up. Not you, Joe. Why? The public person. All right. Okay. All right. No problem. Well, you still need the ones that look like dog bones. Those are actually for dogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Those are for dogs. Like Jack oh, <laughs> but they make your teeth whiter. I, 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 listen, I don't know. Is it milk bones that say that or something? Clean your teeth while you eat. Is it milk bones? That's all right. they go to the sewer department to do the conservation. <laughs> Which one's he made? show themselves yes, yes. <laughs> so the they were all they were all great, all great. yep mm -hmm. they were all great um 
It was not easy, uh, but we all decided that the winner I'm of the glad, first I'm annual. Yeah, no. he said, <laughs> "What with a bang? I have the I have the badge. Yeah, did he use and the mace? And it's all good. Did he like? <laughs> and did, did he threaten he, he to? Would he use? Because he loves Caesar. coming in front of us. So. No, <laughs> Taser or firearm? Or yeah. So the winner is. Nice. <laughs> Where's the bag that they came? Now who? Who's with these? Yeah. Who's with these? Those are John's. John's. Those are those are good. Oh, those are good. They're dipped really there. I've never had. I don't know. It's almost like angel food. I taste a little of everything yeah. on them. Yeah. It's almost like a muffin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Last very night. The next thing we need to do is have a picture with the judges and the women holding the platter of cookies. Wait, were those tests for cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do the test kit anymore. We have to send them out to the state lab, so it's going to take a little while. We'll let you know. We'll get the last picture, and then we'll... <laughs> presentation, though, those were great. I don't know who did the... Uh, those are yours? We love the presentation on the, uh, the snowman. Max, that was you never know. Fentanyl, something like that. Sherry's big cookie night at the house. Mm -hmm. Like 20 people, I'm glad about there. But <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite cheese. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, do they now, I know why you were talking about that. I didn't know you were talking that last time. You like, oh, you like the cookies. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know which ones. I was blinded. I can see why. Uh, how about thank this? you, judges. That's we, thank you. That's a go plate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a go plate, right? I'm just going to take plate. my plate. I'm going to finish them over here. You ought to take some of these. Oh, I am. I'm going to take my plate. I'm going to sit Yeah. Hey, if I can. So we were very lucky to have Fred Caruso agree to be the judge of the Town Hall Branch Decorating Contest. So, Mr. Caruso, can you please tell us which group won and why? The Selectman's lobby, uh, Office Lobby, Group 2 was Town Clerk Tax Collectors Area, and Group 3 was the Second Floor Land Use Sewer Commission. Well. I've come here every day for the last three weeks to look at the displays. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you yeah, probably didn't know. Commitment I there. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Are you the Grinch? <laughs> um, everything was really festive here. And I did take pictures when I got here. And was studying them over here while you were talking about the boiler. Because the boiler had really didn't interest me. <laughs> Why not? The pictures of the Grinch did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the selectman's corner downstairs, I think, is going to get the ribbon. Yay! Wow! Good job. Good job. I think it goes to her right down the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the keeper of the trophy. <laughs> Thank you. Fred. Because there was, yeah. so, there was so much candy. Did a great job. Lots of candy. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Would you would you like to would like to fast forward right on to the spot the Grinch? Yes. Okay. Um, as many know, the town hosted a spot the Grinch in Tilton contest from December 12th to noon on December 22nd. If you spotted the Grinch, all you had to do was go on the website and complete the form telling us where and when you saw the Grinch. The Grinch began its tour of Main Street, starting with the town clerk tax collector's office, where he tried unsuccessfully to register his sleigh. 
Turns out he's an out of state guy. <laughs> <laughs> then the Grinch visited Thomas Richard to get his green hairdo. He ate some pizza at the Tilton House of Pizza, walked up and down Main Street, stopped into Bryant Lawrence Hardware for some snacks, worms, and crawlers, visited Diana's Fresh Brew, and many other businesses on Main Street. The sightings started coming in, and now we are ready to draw from the entries to win gift cards. Compliments of Selectman Constantino and Town Clerk Tax Collector Kim Souls. So I uh, put the entries all that came in in the basket, and each Selectman has the opportunity to draw one. And Selectman Constantino, because she was the winner of the cookie contest, gets to draw the last one because there are six prizes. Ooh, so we get to have two. So what you're going to do is tell me what the number is. Covered. <laughs> okay, you're wrong. Oh, I think it's that. And then I'll read who, who got it. Could be worth it. I truly totally worth it. The first number that was drawn from me is number six. Oh, that's a number. I'm going to let you read it. Could be enough. Sure. It's it's on the it was on the line. Okay, so this person saw the Grinch at the Tilton House of Pizza at 11.38 a.m. And that was Ashley LeBlanc. Ashley here? She's not here. All right, yeah, Ashley. Present. All right. Um, they can pick their, their prices up at the Selectman's office. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was holding it for you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you can't cheat. <laughs> Number two. Too. What's up, late making my cookies? No, you weren't. <laughs> you were up early going to work. Hi, I spotted this the Grinch crossing Main Street in Tilton and went into Tilton House of Pizza on Thursday, December 15th, a few minutes before noontime. Do I have to say who it is? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Yes. It's a mystery. Richard <laughs> Hutchinson. Richard Hutchinson. Perfect. Well, Richard is here, but we'll call him and let him know. You bet. <laughs> I think there's something to your drink there. <laughs> number, I, I drew number three. We saw the Grinch walking in downtown Tilton with a police officer near the old Polly's on 12:15 around new time, noon time, and the winner is Kylie May. All right. Kylie May. I wonder who that police officer was. <laughs> well, apparently, the Grinch was a lot of fun. I bet I wrote a lot of it. Right. All right. You can hold it up to me. <laughs> And I drew number one. All right, there you go. Let me run, Mr. Grinch. They spotted the Grinch on December 15th on Main Street in Tilton around 12.30. And uh, the name is Becky Hughes. So you win number one. Becky, no, okay. you can pick that up at the uh, town office. Grinch took a long nap that day. We just had snacks at number five. Hmm? Snacks at five. Air mail. Oh. 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 She. I saw the Grinch walking to into, into Tilton House of Pizza at 11:35 a.m. on 12:15 Thursday morning. Tiffany Taylor. Grinch loves pizza. I'm so, yeah. I'm, I'm so surprised people were at T Hop. No one ever goes there. No. <laughs> and and what? I've been there. Last is number four. Huh. Uh, 
I saw the Grinch at Tilton House of Pizza. <laughs> Laura Lango. All right. Nice and great advertising for Tilton House of Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, congratulations to all the winners. That's what did they win? Uh, they got uh, gift cards to Walmart. Nice. Awesome. That's fantastic. <laughs> I, I slice the pizza with the Grinch. Lunch with the Grinch. Lunch with the Grinch. Yeah, I should have been. Yeah. 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 That might be almost as valuable as lunch with the uh, Fred lunch, lunch with the green. So we do have eggnog too. Does anyone want any eggnog? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Ooh, sure. Is it spicy? Yeah. <laughs> of course. We need to adjourn it. We're all too formal to be behind the desk. Yes. At this point, I think at this point, should it's just help yourself? Should, should we have Mr. Jessman do his normal? Oh, sure. What's that? Ah, I'd like to at this time make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? None. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.